So we've all heard the phrase, if they wanted to, they would, or if he wanted to, he would. It's a very popular phrase floating around on social media. And I just feel like sometimes it's gone like way too far. It really shouldn't be interpreted so cut and dry. Every situation, every person, every scenario is different. And to just have this one rule to follow really does a major disservice and injustice to a lot of people. I like to reference this a lot. I call it the unreliable narrator inside all of us. I have a separate video on that if you're interested in my breakdown of that and why we are all unreliable narrators. But I just feel the biggest problem with if they wanted to, they would, is that you are placing expectations onto someone and expecting someone to behave how you would behave in a certain situation or how you would think someone should behave in a certain situation. And there really is a lot more to somebody and why they do or don't do certain things. And I think it's kind of gotten way to, it's got, it's spun out of control online. If we're talking in like the early dating stages and you're just trying to get to know somebody, you don't really know that person very well. And if you're using this logic that if they wanted to, they would for them to, for when they're not doing certain things, maybe you decide that you're just gonna write them off, that they're not really interested enough, that they're playing games or something. And it's almost like you just don't have enough information yet. You may be projecting, you may be carrying the emotional baggage from prior relationships that someone did or didn't do something and placing that onto this current connection. And sometimes you can't see beyond your own hurt and pain from the past. Just be aware of that, think of that. I, I hope that you're not just going to cut somebody off because they're not doing exactly what you think that they should be doing. And you know, however, there are certain circumstances where yes, somebody's not pulling their fair share and getting something off the ground or if you've been with somebody in a relationship for six months, a year, two years, and they're still, you're not ebbing and the ebb and flow or the ebb and flow of the relationship is not, or the relationship dynamics for an extended period of time and you're not on the same page about things and maybe other people have weighed into the situation, then sure. If they wanted to, they would can be applied. But I just think it's gotten way too far online because you're gonna fill in, you're gonna fill in the own your own narrative, you're gonna fill in the gaps. So just try to step into somebody else's shoes as well. And don't try to make judgments. I know that's easier said than done, but that comes with no getting to know yourself better, working on yourself so that you are not blinded by your own emotions and you've kind of done the work to deal with the things that have happened to you in the past so that you're in the most healthiest state of mind to be able to actually critically think and remove emotion and look at the facts and not project or do or jump to conclusions too quickly gather as much information as possible and then go from there. So again, remember each situation is different. Make sure that you are as reliable as a narrator as you can be, and then go from there. So let me know what you think about this in the comments, if you agree or disagree, or what your take is on that. And thank you so much for watching, and until next time.